Hello guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and I am back in the area of my breeding tank. Like I'm back in this little filming space because it is time for another Better Breeding Diary episode which I cannot wait for because it is finally time to take the pro pics of the baby. Like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it's time already. I really wanna go ahead and start taking these pictures and getting them up on the website so I can hop you guys up and you guys can be able to just go browse the website and stare and figure out which one that maybe you wanna get from me. So I cannot wait to do this. I am so ready to get my camera out and just see these babies work the camera. So if you are looking forward to seeing me take my pro pics of my better babies, then keep on watching today's video. Okay, you guys, it is that time again. We are going to be taking pro pics of the better babies, my half moon flesh bacot Dumbo better babies and I'm so excited I'm getting the setup set up right now I can't find white paper like I normally use so I'm using this <laughs> filter stuff um, my display boxes a light to use my Nikon camera obviously my babies are over there so I got to get them and I'm so excited to start these pro picks like this is one of my most favorite parts of the whole entire process I am literally now just watching a live stream oh hello Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm watching a live stream right now while I do it and I'm just really excited to get this started and I will definitely show you guys the process. So let's start taking pictures of these beautiful babies. Okay you guys, here is number one and I'm ready to get started. I have my light on. I'm hoping this background is gonna be um, sufficient enough. I'm obviously going to upgrade the back, the, like the quality of it to like a lot more bright white. Um, so it'll look nicer and the babies will pop better against the white but yeah I really am excited about this I am feeling so nostalgic right now and yeah let's go ahead and begin So really fast, I just want to show you, this is number six. I just got doing, done doing number five, who was like number six's little twin, and they are just so gorgeous. I'm telling you, these boys have amazing form. They are definitely two of my most favorite, if not my most favorite, in the whole entire spawn. They're just, they're just so perfect, and the, they of course are placots. And I just love them and they've been working the camera. Number five was a lot more vocal with the camera, like a lot more flary, but this guy is flaring too. Oh, yep, see there he went. But yeah, they these guys are just beautiful. Okay, so here's the first female I've had so far. Let me kind of zoom in here and have it to focus. She's actually flaring. Of course, females definitely have smaller beards than males, but she's flaring. And as far as I can see, which is very interesting to me, she has what looks like a faint, faint signs of breeding stripes, which is just a little bit crazy, but it's kind of what it looks like. 
She's definitely spazzy and definitely a firecracker because she, like I said, has been flaring off and on at the mirror. But this is first email I've done so far, so I just wanted to share an up close look of her. Hey guys, I can barely talk. My face mask is so it's getting dry. Whew. Anyway, today it is another new day. And I'm gonna be wrapping up the baby pictures now. It's been a few days later. I got one through 11 done, so now I'm going through 12 to 21. I'm so excited for this. I cannot wait. I'm about to put on some inspirational music, do my skincare, and take pictures of these babies. Of course, here's my setup. One more time, just to reiterate, tank light, the viewing jar. I just have some aquarium foam behind there. And here is my little, my little subject right here, number 12, a beautiful little female lass, which is really, really hard to see <laughs> in there, but she's in there and let's go ahead and get started. Okay really really fast before we go ahead and resume this one actually may be another male which is really shocking so that would mean seven males i'm not seeing an egg spot and i'm trying to look for ovaries so what i'm doing is flashing my light from my phone onto the fish like from the back side so i can kind of see through its body to tell if i see ovaries or not so that's what i'm doing right now um low-key kind of hope this is a guy well, it's flaring and it kind of has a small beard, so it's probably female, but I have to check to make sure for ovaries, so. It's pooping right now, which would not make a pretty picture anyway. So, I'm just gonna try to look for ovaries while it poops. Okay, so I just literally stared <laughs> at the fish with the flashlight for 10 minutes and I have definitely decided she's a girl. Um, I barely found the ovaries. It was really hard to tell. And now I am actually in the middle of taking pictures of the little baby with the like cleft lip problem. I love this fish so much. I almost started crying. I don't know. It just makes me emotional. I really, really love this fish. It is definitely a special one. Let me show you. So this is this little gal right here. She's feisty, flaring up a storm, but she's the one with the little lip problem of course she's swimming away now she big and bad oh and she's pooping what is up with all them pooping but yeah see her little lip problem now you guys can finally see it yes i love her so much though and she has major male picot um characteristics but you can see her ovary so but yeah i love her Poop and all. Okay, I have to just stop to show you guys how amazing this boy is. I didn't realize that this boy was so amazing. Do I love all my fish? Do I personally think they're all amazing? Yes, but form, fin color. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. Fin, ugh, wow, fin structure, color, just everything about this boy, like, golly, he's amazing. And I just had to stop to show you guys. I have so many pictures of him now, but he is a beast. I love him. And on his lips, he has a white freckle and it is so hilariously cute. I literally love this guy. He is, oh my goodness, one just, if not the best one that I do have. Form-wise, structure-wise, attitude, like being able to flare like that, doing what he's, you know, a better does. I don't know how to explain it other than the fact that he's amazing. Okay, back to the rest of this. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I get questions a lot on how I do photography for the bettas, and this is just a video that I honestly really enjoy doing every time I have a new spawn of bettas, and this group was amazing. They were really, really good with flaring. I remember my last batch of babies didn't really want to flare a lot, um, even not just with their beards but just like their fins really a lot at all um so i had to get like i don't know pictures of them not showing their full potential i feel like but 
this group did not did not disappoint they are so beautiful and i have some really good hidden gems in there like number 17 i didn't realize how perfect his form and his back fins are like he could totally win a better competition he is so beautiful and i'm just really in love with all these babies i hope you love them too i love how their pictures turned out i spent a long time editing them and just getting them absolutely perfect making that background really nice and bright and white so that they'll pop and look so beautiful just like they do um i definitely definitely love the way i have edited them this time versus all the other times um i use a different like software to do it with this time and i absolutely love it so with that being said i hope you learned something on how i do the photography it's a really really easy setup not expensive like you don't have to have a lot of expensive stuff to do it and so if you're interested in taking photos like that of your pets honestly the whole the setup would work like it doesn't even have to be for bettas if it was for geckos or whatever of course you just would want a different type of you know show place box but <laughs> but other than that it it would work and it is very inexpensive and before we go i want to say thank you to my patrons as always dylan courtney jeremy maddie davis mercy janae dusty casey amanda s amanda d mel steven crystal and jill thank you guys so so much for being patrons it truly means the world to me if you guys want to be a patron the link will be in the description box down below it helps me out so much much and you guys get a lot of awesome perks so it's a win-win situation and other than that please subscribe to my channel and come join the family here I would so appreciate it you can do that by hitting my face right up there and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over there and like I said it would mean the absolute world to me y'all uh, and so I hope you have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video bye